Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if you're new. If you've not already, make sure you go in there and subscribe so you can see more of my videos. Happy New Year guys, it is 2020. I'm honestly so shocked that like, it's come around so quick. I mean when I'm filming this, it's actually New Year's Eve, but like, when you're watching this, it'll be 2020, which is so odd to think about. But anyways, I want to make this year the best I can and I want to produce loads of amazing content for you guys too. So I thought I'd start off the year by doing a simple um, answering your guys' questions whilst getting ready with me. I thought it'd be a nice way to start off the year, something nice and simple, which I know you guys do enjoy. Um, but yeah, I've got so many ideas planned for this year and I cannot wait for you all to see them. But this is the look which I created whilst I was answering your questions. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm trying to reach 200 subscribers, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys didn't subscribe if you haven't already. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed the video and without further ado, let's get into it. I'm all barefaced as you can tell and I'm just going to put on a headband. Now I actually got this one for Christmas. Um, it's this really cute cat ears. Um, so I'm just going to put these on just to push my hair out of the way. I'm just going to quickly put on some lip balm. So I've just put on some lip balm. I just put on a bit of EOS. I'm just going to quickly get up the first question. Um, I hope I've saved them because I have no idea if I actually saved them or not. So I'm just going to start off by putting on some of my Mario Badescu facial spray. I got these for Christmas. This is the only thing which I'm going to be using which I got for Christmas because I'm waiting to film a YouTube video where I try out all my new makeup and I didn't want to use it in this video and then, you know, be trying it out in the other video because it wouldn't be a first impressions kind of thing. So I won't be using any of the brushes or anything that I got for Christmas but um, in my future videos I definitely will be. Um, so... I really need to put my phone inside. But for Christmas, I got three of the facial sprays, and this one's the Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. I think this one's probably my favourite one, so I'm just going to put this on quickly now. I always do it when I've got this on, and because it, like, is a big puffy thing, it, like, all catches it. Um, but I've put all my makeup in my makeup bag, and I'm going to get started, I think. Um, I actually need to bring my brushes over here. I am so unorganised. So the first question is, do you think you want a career in YouTube? Absolutely. I 100% would love a career <coughs> in YouTube. It's literally my dream job. I'd love to be like an influencer or a YouTuber. Literally anything like that is my dream. And um, this year I want to work really hard on my YouTube and make it like the best it can be and everything so yeah i would absolutely love a career in youtube it's my dream job and yeah i would love it i've just put on some of my nyx honey jimmy up primer it's one of my favorite primers i also got a very similar question which was do you think you want a career in beauty now with this question i'm not too sure because if it means more like working in like a beauty salon or something like that then it isn't really what i would love to do just because I don't know, like, I wouldn't mind doing it. I have considered doing that, like, if YouTube and everything doesn't work out. Um, but I don't know. I don't think it's really my thing. I would definitely consider it. Like, I'm not saying no. I'm just saying I would prefer not to. I'd prefer to have a job, like, in YouTube and in social medias and things. But I wouldn't, like, cross it off my list. I just prefer not to kind of thing, if that makes any sense. I'm now using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Again, this is one of my favourite foundations. It makes your skin look really, really nice and just um gives you a really nice even coverage too if you guys would like to see a like best beauty of 2019 type video then let me know because i was actually thinking about doing that um kind of thing like where i show you my favorite products of 2019 um also i forgot to put earrings in that's very annoying um so yeah if you'd like to see that then just let me know i honestly love this foundation so much it just gives your skin a really like clear look as well like it just makes your skin look really even which i love i've been doing quite a few face masks recently so my skin is kind of like bringing it all out and everything so my skin isn't the best at the moment but you know it's all right it's not the worst it's fine i don't hear very many people talking about this but really people should because it's really really nice i have been doing quite a bit of skincare recently because i got some skincare bits um recently and i've been trying them all out and everything and um, i would actually really like to try some of glossier's products because i've heard their products are meant to be really really nice so i'd quite like to try some of their bits but i think they're quite expensive um but i mean if they're worth it then i'd definitely like to try it I'm now going to use my PS Liquid Concealer. I find that with a lot of concealers it makes your under eyes look really cakey. But this one doesn't, so I really like this one. It's really nice. And mine's in the shade... And mine's just in the shade Porcelain. 
My next question was, who was your inspiration to do YouTube? I love you, by the way. I love you too. I think when I was younger, because I've always wanted to do YouTube, ever since I was like eight or nine and I like started watching YouTube, I've always wanted to have my own channel. And I think to start off with, it was like people like Zoella and Louise and all that kind of thing. Um, and all those kind of people that inspired me. <coughs> I really should not be doing a talkative video when my throat is like dying. Um, <coughs> Yeah, I think, like most people, it was people like Zoella. I think a lot of people do get inspired by people like Zoella um, because she's you know, like an OG YouTuber and she's been here for like a very long time. And I feel like, I feel like everybody my age watched Zoella when they were younger. I feel like if you didn't, then where were you? Like, <laughs> you know? Just putting a bit of this on my eyelids just to cancel out my veins. My camera just went out of storage, so I had to quickly sort that out. So if my camera's a different angle now, I don't know how close I had zoomed in before. Um, but I just put some powder underneath my eyes. I just used some of my Primark loose powder. It's my favourite powder, and I'm just going to wipe that off now. I find that for me, I prefer loose powders. I used to always use pressed powders, but recently I found that. Um, loose powders just work a lot better for me so I think I'm definitely going to look into buying some different loose powders as I've been really enjoying loose ones recently. The next one is from my friend she said who is your favourite Ursula stan of course it's you Sophie. This is from my friend Sophie and we're actually going to be filming a video together really soon hopefully we're hoping to do a makeup bag swap video together um because I've done it, I've done the makeup bag swap with my mum and also Shan, so I really want to do one with Sophie now, and hopefully we're going to be doing one very soon, because we're meeting up in a couple of days, so I think actually when you guys are watching this, we would have filmed it today, so yeah, I'm really excited for you to see that. And then the next question is, what has been your favourite video to film for YouTube? Now, I saw this question, like, I didn't look for the questions, but that's one of the questions I did see, and... I was trying to think of what my favourite video actually is that I filmed because I really couldn't think of what it was. Um, but I reckon my favourite video is probably the um, super drug video where I, um, I think it's actually my most viewed video, where I went to super drug and bought a whole load of makeup and then I tested it all out. So I did like a full face of new makeup and I tested it all out. I think that was probably my favourite video um, because I really enjoyed filming it and I was actually really proud of the video. Um, but I do also love filming like what I got for my birthday, what I got for Christmas, all that kind of thing. I really like filming those videos too, I think they're really fun to film. Um, so any of those really, I, I love filming all of my videos so it's quite hard to decide. Um, but I just used my Benefit Hula Light Bronzer. I'm now going to dip into my I Heart Revolution Bl Blushing Hearts Blush in the shade Candy Queen of Hearts. The next question, which isn't actually a question, is from Shannon and it says, let me be in it pretty please. So. Hello Shannon. I know you're probably watching this and you're literally sitting next to us by so being quiet. So I hope you can't hear me because you're sitting next to us. So. Um, but yeah. Hello. <laughs> the next question is who is your favourite YouTuber? Um, so I've actually got quite a lot of YouTubers I've been enjoying recently. Um, but I think my favourites are probably Soph Does Nails. I think she's actually now Soph Does Life. Um, but I honestly love her videos. I've watched her for quite a long time and she's definitely one of my favourite YouTubers. Um, I think Softa's Nails, Softa's Life, whatever you want to say, is my favourite beauty YouTuber. And then my favourite, like, family YouTubers are Dad V Girls. At the moment, I've been loving Dad V Girls. I was watching their Vlogmas, and that's kind of... Because I go through phases of watching YouTubers, and I think their Vlogmas was kind of where I started watching them again. Because I hadn't watched them for a while. But then when I saw them in their Vlogmas, I think that's kind of when I started enjoying them a lot more. So I think definitely Dad V Girls. And then also, the third one, recently, I've been watching Brandonio. I think that's how you say it. I've been watching him quite a bit recently, and I've been really enjoying his videos too. So I think him as well. And like I really like his videos of like his sister and his girlfriend and stuff. Um, yeah, I really like their videos. So I think probably those three are my top three favourite. I can't choose one because I have like different favourite YouTubers for different categories kind of thing, so they're my top three favourites. Um, but for highlight, I just use my Morphe High Impact Spark Highlighter. I love it, it makes your skin look so, so beautiful, but yeah, I really like that. I'm now going to go into eyeshadow, and for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using two different palettes. I'm going to use my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, 
Um, I hadn't used this for a while and then recently I started using it again and I really really like it and then I'm also going to be using my Makeup Obsession Be In Love With palette this has got some really gorgeous shades so I'm going to be using both of these two palettes so first of all I'm going to take the shade Beloved and it's from the Be In Love With palette just this really nice light um, neutral brown shade I'm just going to put this through my crease and kind of smoke it up a little bit not too much just a little bit and then put it in the outer half of my lid too, just for a nice little base. So I'm now going to go in to my Too Faced palette and dip into the shade Puree, which is this darkish brown kind of colour. And then that is just going to go in my crease again, pretty much the same place as the other shade went, and then a little bit lower as well. So the next question is, what do you think of the Shane X Jeffrey collection? Also, my brother and my mum just got back indoors, so if you can hear them, very sorry. But, um, yeah, what do you think of the Shane X Jeffrey collection? Um, to be honest with you, I loved the um, series that they did. I loved where they did the, um, yeah, Shane and Jeffrey did their series together. And I was adamant that I was going to get the palette because my mum said she'd buy it for me and then put it away for Christmas. So I thought I was going to love it. And when they originally showed like the shades like when they got the shades back and laid them all out on the table i really liked them because they had like a mixture they had like reds orange yellows um they even had like a green i think they took the green out they had like pinks and i really liked it because it looked like a really nice bright palette and it really looked like something that i was going to enjoy um but then when i saw the final thing i kind of wasn't too sure because um the top row of the palette was all neutral shades and even though that would be good for some people because I know some people didn't like doing bright eyeshadow for me um, I've got a lot of neutral palettes already and I wanted to buy it for the brightness of the palette and the uniqueness but and then when I saw those shades I was like mm, I'm not really too sure but I would probably have still bought it um, if they were in there but then when um, I saw the bottom row of the palette that was when I was kind of just not really too sure I love the middle row the middle row is my favourite if if the whole palette was like that, I would have bought it. But I love the middle row. But then the bottom row, I don't know. I kind of feel like it was a bit, like, I don't know. It was a bit odd. Like, I'll put a picture of the palette on the screen now. But I feel like the bottom row kind of, like, it was very, like, dark and shades I wouldn't really use like it was like a black and then like a deep deep red and like a deep purple I think so it was kind of shades that I wasn't really interested in using and I it was a very expensive palette and if that like I said if the whole palette would have been like the middle row then I definitely would have bought it because it I really like that row and if the palette had been how it looked when they first put it together I would have also bought it because it looked really nice then but then when they started to show the rest of it I then was kind of just like hmm no, this isn't really my type of palette and I didn't want my mum to spend her money on it if I wasn't really like too keen on it so I decided against that but and then again like with the lipsticks I know he wanted the lipsticks to be really like unique and everything but I think they're a bit too unique for me like, I was tempted to get one of the pink shades I think it was the shade Ryland I was tempted to get that but then I thought that I wouldn't really wear that out a lot um like I would use it in my Instagram videos and things but I probably wouldn't wear it out a lot so and then the other palettes, there was like, I think the Shane shade was like a greeny kind of shade. And then there was like a bright pink, a bright red and things. And it just wasn't really for me. So, you know, I decided against it because I didn't want them to spend money on it if I wasn't really going to enjoy it that much. And then like, I was tempted to buy the gloss. But I mean, you can just get a clear lip gloss from anywhere. Like, you don't really have to get it from, you know, the Shane because that's really expensive. And then, I did like the mirrors. I really like the pink pig mirror. Um, so yeah, I think... For me, I loved the lead up to it and I loved what it was, what, it, what I thought it was going to be. But then when they kind of actually showed the actual thing, I just didn't really like it as much. So I decided against buying it. That was a very long explanation as to why I didn't like it. Um, but I just used the shade Bow on my like outer crease. I'm going to dip into the shade Romeo, which is like one of my favourite shades from this palette. It's this really gorgeous shimmery colour here. And I'm just going to put that kind of on the outer half of my lid i guess you could say so the next question is what's your favorite clothing and makeup brand my favorite makeup brand is 100 percent revolution i love revolution's makeup uh yeah and day i'd say revolution and then and then my favorite clothing brand i don't really think i've got like a favorite clothing brand because i don't 
really wear branded clothes i have like the occasional like adidas and nike top and things but i don't really go for branded clothing apart from for like gym wear um but i think my favorite places to shop at are definitely primark and recently i've been really enjoying topshop too so i think primark and topshop are my two favorite like clothing places to shop so I'm now going back into my Too Faced palette and I'm just going to take the shade Cobbler which is um, this like medium brownish shade and I'm just going to put that in the centre of my lid. I'm kind of doing like an ombre of glitters, I think this looks really nice when it's like in your lid. And then the final glitter shade which I'm going to take is the shade Luscious which is this light brown, it's kind of like a brownie nude kind of glitter and I'm just going to put this in the inner corner of my lid. I'm going to find the next question. The next question is what's your favourite look from 2019? Now I think they were talking about, on my, oh my battery's running out, I think they were talking about on my Instagram so I reckon my favourite Instagram look I honestly don't actually think I've got one, like I love all of my Instagram looks that I do, so I don't think I've actually got a favourite, I know that's a really boring answer, but I love all my Instagram looks, so yeah, I literally couldn't choose. That is my eyeshadow all done, I will do a close up at the end, but my battery is flashing, I hate it when it does that. Um, but I'm now going to use, which mascara should I use, I got out two. I'm going to use my Essence Lash Princess Mascara, this is one of my favourites, these two are both my faves, but I'm going to go for this one today. And I'm going to do it off camera so I can charge my battery and I've also got a really ugly mascara face, so I'll be back in two seconds. Just done my mascara and I actually really like this mascara, it makes your lashes look really really beautiful. So I'm now going to be using my Revolution um, Nude Matte Lip Gloss in the shade Buff and I'm going to answer the next question. There's a, there's a few different questions which say like yearly goals, what's your new year's resolution, what are your goals for the year and things. So I've actually gotten quite a few, let me actually get out my journal. If you don't know, I do bullet journaling so I've got my bullet journal here. Um, so I've gotten a few different goals and um, obviously like the normal ones which everyone has which is like to be active and eat healthy and everything. And then I've also got to be more positive because I am from quite a negative person so I want to be more positive. And then in terms of like um, social media I've got 1k on YouTube which is a massive goal. Don't know if I'm going to get there but I'm going to try really, really hard. And then 6 to 10k on Instagram. Now I'm so close to 1k on my Instagram so again I'm setting a big goal. Um, and then things like to spend less time on my phone, to get good grades at school and things like that. So my, I've not really got resolutions as such this year. I've kind of just got things like to aim for and like things to bear in mind and all that kind of thing. So yeah, I've not really got like resolutions. I've just got like goals, I guess. I don't really know. My next question is, how old are you and when did you start getting into makeup? So I am 14, I'm probably actually 14 and a half now. Just doing my lipstick off camera because it's a bit hard to talk whilst doing your lipstick. Um, but the question was, how old are you and when did you start getting into makeup? So I started getting into makeup, I think I've answered this before, but basically when I was about three years old, I started dancing and doing like ballet and modern and everything. But when I was six years old, I started doing theatre, and in theatre we had to wear makeup, we had to wear like stage makeup. So then was kind of when I started getting interested in it. But when I started like actually trying it out for myself and experimenting, I was probably about 11 or 12, because I think I was in year seven, so I was about 11 or 12 when I started probably getting into it. And then when I started my Instagram account, which was a bit like in about March, I think. I have my camera on charge for a few seconds because it very rudely died on me. Um, where's my lip gloss? Oh, here it is. Um, but anyways, what I was saying was that I started my account, my Instagram account in March, and that's when I started doing like proper creative looks all the time because I used to just attempt to do them every now and again, but um, yeah, in March was when I definitely, I think it was even March or April, was when I definitely started doing them properly and was like doing proper makeup looks. And doing like full faces and like creative eyes and everything. I just used my Fenty Beauty Gloss Form in the shade Fenty Glow in the centre of my lips. But I think I'm going to answer one more question because I've now finished my makeup look. So the last question I'm going to answer is... Um, I have my own makeup account but I'm not very good and I'm too nervous to make it public tips. Um, so 
I'm sure you are good at makeup, I'm sure you're amazing. Um, and when I first started my account, I was really nervous because people from my school started seeing it, and then at school people were like asking me about it, and like I saw people like watching my videos and things, and I got like really embarrassed and everything. Um, but I just decided that at the end of the day, I love. I love doing it and it was and it's literally my favourite thing to do like, like when I started my YouTube channel too like the boys in my year and things would find it and like make fun but um yeah it's my favourite thing to do and I figured that at the end of the day I'm doing something I love and they can make fun of it if they want to like I don't really care like um obviously and like when I first started doing it like it would get to me when they made fun of it and everything but now like I'm just like you know what I don't care like I enjoy it you have nothing better to do than make fun of it, so you're clearly got quite a sad life. I hope that advice helps, and yeah, like honestly, you should do it because you love it. And if other people do make fun of it, it clearly just shows they've got nothing better to do, and it's not because you're bad or anything like that, it's just because they want to make fun of people because they're a sad person. <laughs> But anyways, that's all the questions I'm going to answer in today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's my first video of 2020 and I'm so excited for the rest of the videos which I'm going to bring out. I want to make this year the best year ever, so I'm really excited to bring out so many amazing videos that I hope for you guys will enjoy. I was just about to do my outro and then I realised I hadn't shown you my makeup close up. But this is what it looks like. I actually really like how it turned out. I've kind of done like an ombre of glitters on my lid and then like a cute little base and then a cute glossy lip um so yeah i actually really like this look but i really hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you like and subscribe down below so you can see more of my videos and i'll see you all very very soon bye